Hi guys, uh, sorry it's dark in here, I've uh, just finished the shift for the day. Uh, just going to do a quick summary on what I've done and was going to have a bit of a rant as well actually, or a bit of a vent. Uh, so today I've collected in Nottingham, collected in Sheffield and delivered to Manchester. So that was just collecting medical samples like I normally do and taking them up to a lab in Manchester. Um, so yeah, if you've seen any of my other videos you'll know I do that quite regular. So, I just thought I'd vent about um, a certain thing I heard on the radio. I heard it yesterday, I think it was. So, some delivery driver, I don't know if it was a lorry driver or van driver, uh, stopped at services, I think a lorry driver, went to get a coffee, and the staff there have given them an hard time and said, you know, you're not, you're not key workers. So, you know, can you imagine being told that? Um... So I just thought I'd say for anyone who thinks that about, you know, lorry drivers or van drivers, um, a point I could say about that is your food, your medicine, any essential in your house, everything that the hospitals need right now all gets delivered in a lorry or a van. So I think I can say that, you know, the transport or courier drivers lorry drivers is a hundred percent key worker and you know none of us want a pat on the back we don't want a medal it's our job we get paid for it but it's a key job it needs doing um if the transport industry stop, stops running the country will stop running it's as simple as that uh, so that's all i wanted to say on that also one of the roads i take on my journey um is called Snakes Pass. If you're not familiar with Snakes Pass, it's the A57. It's a section of road, a section of road, sorry, that runs from Sheffield to Manchester, runs through all the nice countryside and hills. Um, so one thing I've noticed every time I'm going, or especially today, I'm getting across Snakes Pass Road. I get in line with a nice spot called Lady Bower Dam, and lo and behold, there's 15 to 20 cars all parked in a line. You know, that path running inside the, inside the cars, uh, you've got couples holding hands, walking the dogs, taking selfies, all bumping shoulders on the path. Uh, you know, we've been instructed to be in lockdown. So our daily exercise or our daily walk, they've said it's, you know, to be somewhere local. So you walk out your house and you go to, if there's a woods or a field near you, or if there's none of that, you, st you just keep local. The Lady Bower Dam, there's... Well, not really any houses. There might be the odd country house, but there's there's no houses for miles in one direction and for miles in another direction. Um, you know, the nearest city to one way is Sheffield and then the next city to the other way is Manchester. So you've got people from Manchester coming and walking across that path, people from Sheffield coming and walking across the path, mixing germs or whatever, them taking them back to Manchester and then them taking the germs back to Sheffield. So it's just defeating the old point. Uh, so yeah, I just wanted to get a bit of rant out about that because you know a nice sunny day today, and there were hundreds and hundreds of cars on the roads today. Like, if you've watched my past videos, I've been talking about how empty the roads are due to this lockdown and how nice it's been. And uh, what a coincidence! On a nice sunny day, hundreds more cars are on the road. We all know where they go in to ask parties, garden barbecues, exactly what they've not been told to do, exactly what they've been told not to do. Sorry. Um, and, you know, if, if you're watching this video and you're thinking, well, I went to a barbecue or an arse party, then, like I say, I'm not trying to offend anyone, but, you know, we're not supposed to be doing it. We're in lockdown. Um, and then the last... What was the last thing I wanted to get at? Oh, yeah, so I wanted to ask a question. So if you want to write it in the comments or whatever. Um, so I've noticed a lot of people, when they're going out and doing their exercise, they're doing it on, you know, they're going push biking down the roads and you're getting them all in the lycra and you know they cover about 20 30 miles when they're doing that so what i want to know is why it's okay for cyclists to go out on these nice rural routes or city roads or whatever and they're doing 20 30 miles on the bikes um but why it's not okay for them for the motorcyclists why can't a motorcyclist go out and do 20 30 miles to get his fresh air on his bike and then come back and one of the things you might say is, well, it's more dangerous on a motorcycle. Something might happen and then an ambulance ends up being used. 
It's just the same on a cycle. Cars are con constantly overtaking them. They could get knocked off and an ambulance might have to come out and uh, be used. So, yeah, that was just a... I just wanted people's thoughts on that, if you want to leave it in the comments. And uh, any comments that are left, I'll make another video on after this. I usually try and get the videos on, like, every other day, every, you know, every day or every two days. So, yeah, if you want to keep up with the videos, just like and subscribe, and uh, you'll keep up with any others that come out. So, yeah, uh, keep safe, wash your hands, look after yourself, and I'll see you later.